Hey, it's time for Cooking 101. Yes, and we were talking about Rob Feeney's dirty, dirty glasses. He's the food concept architect for Cactus Club Cafe, of course, here in Vancouver. How are you, man? I love the glasses, but how do you see out of those things? I don't know. I, my, wife, my wife said that to me on the weekend, too. It's like, but no, I don't know. I'm just getting used to it. You never clean them. Well, it's like the it's those digital bifocal. I don't know. I'm getting old. We all are, Rob. <laughs> the long and short of it. You know what? Age. We're all getting old, so let's make some crab cakes. Yeah. Well, you know what? Like I said, we were. This is kind of cool because you know we've got English Bay, right? We're opening, so most people think cactus. At, you know, so we're kind of like playing around with some ideas. So that you may be seeing some. This is, this is not on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> let's clarify that before but, uh, phone Could you. it be? But it, it could be. And I mean, it, we're on the west coast, so it's like you know you, you know people are going to be sitting. And the patio there. I mean, I was think I'm thinking seafood. So yeah, crab well, cakes. And that's interesting that, that that's having an influence, right? Because obviously you guys have a lot of different locations. But I like that idea that you know by opening a new one, you guys are really sort of starting to think about you know what does that represent for you? What does that mean for that spot? I'm just pushing them. You're that's just it. That's yeah, you no are. more no more Cajun Ched. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. No, so what kidding. do we got here? So we're gonna do. Listen, the thing about crab cakes, as we know on the West Coast, is that um, first of all, crabs not. Inexpensive, right? So to yep. be able to make crab cakes yeah. at home, Real, I think I'm trying to give I'm trying to give people an option of being able to do this without having to use all crab meat. So what we've done is we sort of subbed in sort of half crab, and then the other half is going to be shrimp meat. Mm. Nice, yeah. right? And what gives it a little, gives it a little bit of a different uh, different taste. Wait, wait, wait! One shrimp hair. Okay, go ahead. I got it. No, you missed it. Oh no, there are more. Oh, they, oh they're the more. hairs. Oh, oh, the little hairs on. That's ah, okay. Just they're the hairs. Good. The hairs are good for it. Okay, so this is the sh crab cakes shrimp are real simple. Those shrimps had hair. Well, yeah. whatever they call those little thingies. Little whiskers. Um, whiskers. I got a little that makes it much better. It makes them sound like kittens. <laughs> so we're using <laughs> shrimp and crab with yeah. some diced celery. Diced celery. I got some chives in here as well. You must have spent hours chopping all this. Yeah, thanks, Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> and some lots of lemon zest. Yeah, lots of lemon zest. Lemon zest is really one of those things that's really key because it gives you a really good, uh, really good flavor. Then I'm going to put a little bit of Dijon mustard in. Okay. And Don't then, you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> that was Grey Poupon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Sorry. laughs> There's about seven generations that won't understand that joke. Uh, no. Pardon me. Anyway, so this is one of those things when people are watching, they're like, whoa, there's a lot of mayonnaise. But um, crab cakes aren't really that hard to make in the sense that you need, like I got these, these really funky little molds that I bought. And you're going to see, well, go ahead, just mix it together. Well, yeah, okay, I will, because okay, you so weren't paying attention. No, I wasn't. And I, my wife tells me I do that a lot. <laughs> so I, don't, I, don't pay, I don't pay attention a lot. It drifts off in his dirty it's, glasses it's into his own cooking. world. No, even, I, I, even, that, even not paying attention, I think I'm Canada's worst driver, because we went for gym some oh, of the weekend. No. And I actually totaled the bumper while I was parking. Oh, uh, yeah, you and I should have a... Hey, should, Rob, you Rob know and awesome. I should have a drive-off. I heard they're doing casting for that in Vancouver. <laughs> Maybe you should just, you know... Oh, God. I, went I always have those self-made white walls on, because I always cook them. Okay, so 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 this is what we're going to do is I've got this pan preheated already. And I wasn't paying attention. What did you say about the mayonnaise? Well, the mayonnaise helps to bind it, right? Okay. Because, but the thing is, but what's also really key at home for people is that these little molds I got, these are not nothing like two bucks each, right? Yeah. And what I'm going to do is, and probably, I'm just going to put some on each side, right? And let's just do two for now, okay? So you can stuff them. What, the, what this does is if you wonder why, like Coast, for example, in Vancouver, they make really, really good cr crab cakes, right? Yeah, and I do. think that part of the thing is, is plus Des Den Dennis Peckham used to work for me. Well done, Dennis. There you um, go. Um, is that you want, you want to make, you want to make the, the, the outside kind of crispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this on the one side. You can see the ones you already have in front of you, Michael. We've already oh, done those, yeah. right? And yep. what kind of breadcrumbs are these? This is just Penko, yeah. right? So you can buy these. Uh, you're actually starting to see really funky things like quinoa grains being sold at like you know, Safeway, and yeah. then these Penko breadcrumbs are starting to appear more and more because they're so popular, right? right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this heat up a little bit, and you just wanna sear it a bit on the one side, and then what we've done, let me just sort of, as I create my mess. As I'm you the, migrate I'm over. I'm the messiest here. chef. <laughs> well, my I, 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 I drive like I, I a maniac. Mess. <laughs> okay, so while we're, while walk, we're getting I'll those going, here. okay, so we're, we're just gonna leave those for like another okay. second or, uh, not second or two, because that would be like right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna just leave them for another minute, and then we're gonna flip them over. Okay. But in the meantime here, what I've done, is a couple, you, know, you can make a gazillion different sort of garnishes for them. The key is, like I said, with these molds, is we just want to get them crispy on the one side, which is I'm just going to go over here again. There, now it's been a second. Yeah, I that was. I could have done that. And I'm going to flip them over. I could have done that. You could not. I'll do okay. the other one, just to prove you wrong, Eckford, and we won't well, let no, too hot. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt your hand. Chef's not going to let you. Oh, okay. you have asbestos fingers. I don't. So, I don't really. I'm just going to put some more breadcrumbs on this side. We're going to probably flip them over one more time, and they're, they're essentially 
going to take three or four minutes. If you have an oven at home, which most people do, why did I even say that? <laughs> <laughs> if you have an oven at home, <laughs> but that's a good good if you're not Only cooking on an open life. flame outside or <laughs> on your barbecue, um, anyways, the oven, I don't know, that was the stupidest thing I've ever said. High five for being stupid. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, if you do have an oven at home, which I think you should all have, um, <laughs> then what you do is just preheat it to like 350. You can do half this on top of the stove, and then the other half you can finish on the oven, right? And then what we want to do... If How long do will they take in, in the oven once you... Uh, you know, we're just we're just heating up. What we're doing here is giving them a little bit of crispness in terms Color. of the panko, right? Okay. And what you're going to do in the oven is sort of cook the inside of it. Okay. Okay. So what I've done is, I, and again, there's a million different garnishes. Michelle Jacob at the Crocodile makes beautiful crab cakes with a saffron mayonnaise. Oh, Wonderful, yeah, right? So what I've done is I've, I've got a little bit of cucumber, but we put a little bit of rice vinegar in there. So if you want to put some of those just on the bottom, and that's kind of going to act as a little salad for us. The rice vinegar and the cucumber is such a nice, uh, fresh combination, too. As we wow. can think about spring in this crappy weather. Wow, they're nice working. yesterday. How okay. are things in Winnipeg right now? What's the temperature there? Uh, I, let me check. Minus, <laughs> five, <laughs> minus 500. No, it's not. It's good. It's warming up. It's minus 20. Is that okay? okay? So, yeah, <laughs> put it, put, I'm going to put it down like that. All right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, my wife flew back there. She was a very slippery landing. I said, no kidding. It's like icy. Okay. There you go. And then oh, we're going to put those on the top. Pretty. This is the great thing about having these molds, right? They just is that they just slide right off. And, oh, look, look, and yeah. it looks so good. So I just want to, again, wanna, before we put the How finishing legit. touches on. So like I said, you start them off in the pan, flip them over, you can finish them in the oven. And what's mm -hmm. nice is you, you can see you only have the breadcrumbs yeah. on the top and you get this really nice, delicate sort of flavor yeah, in beautiful. the middle. And then the one, the one thing we're going to add, you could just eat them on, on their own like this if you wanted to. A little right. bit of a salad. It could be like a main course for lunch. John Bishop was probably the one that originally started making these extremely popular when he opened his restaurant in the, in the 80s. And here we have a little bit of tartar sauce. But it's house-made tartar sauce. There's a little bit of tarragon. We've got pickles. We I got love capers. Sauce. Yeah, so we're going to take a big hunk of that. We're just going to put that on the side. And the, oh, yeah. That oh, is making oh, my yeah. mouth water. Okay. And then that we're going to do these. That, that's a little bit of cilantro on the top. And yeah, so this is, a, this, is, this is great. If someone at home, like especially right now, doesn't want to burn like I'm just burning, that's OK. Don't pay attention. Okay. If, we had a, if we had an oven like everyone else. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like all those darn rich people. All they're right. Not, they're not burning. But this is a great, I think this is a great appetizer. We're coming into the sort of Me the spring, too. summer. But you know, don't forget, shellfish is also really good in the fall, winter, right? Because shellfish is at its prime at this time of year, yeah. right? So yeah. Yeah. Um, try this. The recipe, they're going to be able to go online and get it. It's simple. It's tasty. And uh, there you go. You guys go into that Rob one. Rafini, thank you so much. Uh, so you cannot find this on the menu at Cactus Club, but maybe sometime soon. Mm -hmm. But we'll give you the recipe. Maybe, maybe, yes. maybe, 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 maybe. We're gonna take a break, and when we return, Steel Panther right after this. Don't go away. Everybody, oh. dig in.